I'm logged into my Coinbase account and our objective is to withdraw funds from Coinbase and move them over to the JAX wallet in this tutorial. Now, in order to do this, you'll actually want to start out in the JAX wallet, which I'm going to bring up on screen now. And in this example, because I'm not seeing the pullback that I thought I would see here on November 18th, 2020, I'm simply going to withdraw some USDC from Coinbase and deposit that into JAX. So I'm going to scroll down. So what I've done here is if I go back home, uh, I'm simply going to go over to or down to wallets. I'm going to scroll down to USD coin. And then I'm going to click or tap the receive button. And I'm going to copy that long address. Never try to type that long string of characters. Always use the copy functionality in any wallet that you're utilizing. That way you're, you are assured of getting the right information. You'd hate to be, you'd hate to find yourself in a situation where you've typed something incorrectly and you've sent funds to an, in, an unintended destination. So once you've got that copied to your clipboard, you're going to need to get that string over to the machine on which you're using Coinbase. And once you do that, it's pretty straightforward from there. In Coinbase, uh, the easiest thing to do might be to simply look at the watch list, uh, assuming the coin that you're trying to send is immediately available here. And the one I want to send is at the bottom here. So if I click on USD coin, it's going to take me to an overview. And as I've said, I want to send some USD coin to my Jax wallet. So I'm going to go over to the USD coin wallet here on Coinbase. And we can see how much I've got available. So my balance is 993.51, but some of this is still pending the ACH transfer from my bank. So in actuality, I have 590.1958 USD, USDC that I can send today. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's send, let's send 190.19 over to Jax. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in the amount that I want to send. 190.19. I'm going to paste in the address with that pasted into the to field. I can type in an optional message if I'd like. Definitely want to pay with the USD coin and I'll go ahead and hit the continue button. I get a confirmation dialog. And you see that the Ethereum network is rather busy at the moment. That is indicated by the high price that I'm going to apparently pay for network fees. And that's fine for the purposes of this demonstration. I'll go ahead and do that. If this were, if I were just, uh, interested in, or if I were doing this as a matter of practice or practical deployment, I probably would wait until a less busy time on the network, but uh, I'll go ahead and send that now. I'll authenticate with my YubiKey and we should see that show up in, uh, in Jax in just a moment. 
no, sorry, actually, that my authentication was successful. Okay. Uh, all right. So here is something that is, uh, it's actually good that this popped up. So as a security precaution, I have set up on my Coinbase account a recipient whitelist and that new Jack's wallet is not on that whitelist. So I'll need to go in to my settings and add this new address to my address book. And you'll notice that this is done on the Coinbase Pro platform. When you do that, you have to wait 48 hours before that address can be used. So we'll go ahead and end the video in just a few moments here, but the flow that you've just witnessed is the flow that you would go through in order to move funds from Coinbase to, in this case, the Jack's wallet. But in actuality, this flow will allow you to move funds from Coinbase to any wallet destination. Um, it's, uh, it's all the same, just a matter of the different user interface for that destination wallet.